Hi and welcome to this video looking at the recent TLS error in FileZilla. Many people who have FileZilla installed on Ubuntu have recently been complaining that when you try and go to an FTP site you get this error coming up and there doesn't seem to be a fix for it or indeed there is but it's not yet distributed out to the Ubuntu repositories. I just wanted to show really simply how to install FileZilla exactly as it is or indeed just run it from its tar file to make life easy in the meanwhile while we wait for the repositories to get updated. So to do that I'm just going to go to Chromium, whatever your browser of choice is, go to the FileZilla website and choose the download option and then we're just going to download, it obviously already knows I'm running Linux so it'll pull down the tar once that's there we'll open up the archive and just literally extract that to anywhere you fancy putting it I'm going to put it in documents for me oops wait for that to actually extract a bit ahead of myself um, so at this point we can literally just run it by having a terminal open and this is every time you want to use it until the repository gets updated so we'll just go to the documents location in here I dropped the extracted files which are clearly in a FileZilla folder and we'll find a bin folder within here with the binaries in there so again there are files within here and it's literally just FileZilla that we want to execute so dot forward slash and FileZilla to execute that and that will open FileZilla and this is the the updated version that's got the fix associated to it so if I'd now attempt to connect that will offer me the chance to accept the certificate and connect to the FTP site I was looking at at the moment we'll need to do that until the repository is updated there are other options for installing but I think this is the easiest way not to break away from the main repository while we wait the update I hope that helped if this video has been useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them in the comments below. It's always nice to have some feedback. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.